In this video, you're going to see me create three unique images using the AI canvas in Leonardo.ai. In case you want to watch an in-depth video on how to use the AI canvas, click on the I button or the link of that video is given in my description. So let's go to the AI canvas and start creating some amazing looking art. So let's select an image by going to this Im upload image section. You can upload the image from computer from previous generations from community. All these features are covered in my previous video, which you can watch from the description. So I selected this image and now I'm going to outpaint this image. So to outpaint the image, just keep the box in such a way that half of the box is on the image so that the box has the reference of the image that it can outpaint and then click on generate. Right, add and click on generate. And then once the images are generated, we have few options to select from. I think this option looks good. And then I'm going to click on accept. I'm going to do the same thing with the top portion right here. Click on generate. And then accept. Now we have generated this part of the image. Let's try to generate this part of the image as well. So do the same thing, place the box, click on generate, completed the other part of the image as well. And I click on accept. And this is what we came out with. This is the next image that I chose. And I copied the image and placed it here. Now I want to add structure in between these two images so that this image looks like one. And it looks like a colony of wooden houses. So I'll just type in add and let's see what it generates. And it finally generated the outcome and it gave us some options. I think this one looks pretty good. So I'll click on accept and do the same thing on top. And this is our final outcome. Now let's do something else in this image. Let's try adding some water in front of this image. I mean, I want it to look like a lake in front of these cottages. So I typed in add lake and let's see what it comes out with. And it successfully generated a lake. It also has the shadow of the wooden house in the water. So the other options are not so good. This is the best option. So I'm going to click on accept. And then do the same thing right here. Click on generate. And actually I am really amazed by the precision this has. It adds exactly what is supposed to be added. So I am going to select this one and click on accept. And I am going to do the same thing in the leftover portion. Click on generate. And this is our final outcome. This was our initial image and we generated something completely different and unique out of this image. The next two images I've selected are these. Now just keep in mind one thing when you're selecting images, just try to keep the theme of both the images similar so that the outcome is a bit more realistic. So let's place the box in such a way that it has reference on both the images. And then I wrote add mystical forest and then I click on generate and then click on accept do the same thing with the leftover portion and just look at the art it looks pretty amazing really amazing so I think this one is looking better than all the other ones so I'll click on accept and then just the leftover portion do the same thing and this is the final outcome. I think by now you must have judged by the ability of this AI canvas that whatever you are thinking right now, you can do it in this AI canvas. You can create some amazing art without much effort. So I found an image of these mushrooms and I want to add these mushrooms in this image. Let's try to add these mushrooms in the image. Now one more feature that it has is you can er erase the surrounding image and just 
keep the image that you want to add so I can erase the whole image after erasing the surroundings of the image I'll place the image somewhere right here and then I'm gonna bring this whole box on top of this so that when it generates the forest it includes these mushrooms in the whole generation now let's try clicking on generate it didn't exactly do what I thought it would do but it is looking pretty good so I'll click on accept and then I'll do the same thing on top right here so this is how you can keep adding images and create a single image from multiple images let's try going one step further and trying to create something completely different some theme related to a mystical forest near a kingdom so let's drag the box on top of the images drag the image a bit closer and let's see what we can create now so click on generate this part this part of the image is merging pretty well let's see what all options we have I think the first option was the best so click on accept and I'll complete the image and I'll show you what it looks like and I filled in this part of the image let's see what all options we have the first option as usual is the best so I click on accept and now looking at the image this part of the image I think we've come out with something really really artistic and now in order to complete the image I'm going to drag the whole image decrease the size of the image and then drag the box on top of this add mystical mountain and sky and then I'll click on generate and out of the four images I've chosen this image because it looks pretty blended in click on accept and do the same with the last part of the image that is this one and click on generate and this was it for this image for the time being because the image is already overloaded and looks pretty artistic and deep so this was it for the video if you like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll meet you in my next video with some more ai related content